Greetings, warriors. It's your girl, Corinne Graham, also known as a Purpose Warrior. I am the author of the prophetic devotional, He Teaches Me to War with My Hands, A Journey into Reclaiming Your Victory. Listen, warriors, I'm back again. <laughs> As the Father moves, I move. He has spoken to me. Run it, run it, and I'm running it. And I am enjoying this race. I'm enjoying this run. God is faithful and He is good. And I have a word for someone today. This is going to be a word of establishment for you. It's going to be a word of confirmation for you. It's going to meet you right now and it's going to instantly restore your peace instantly restore your joy and instantly realign your hope in the one who has spoken god is so faithful and so good as he is watching over us i did a word titled the blessing bus and since then i can't even describe the fruit that has fallen from that word and i'm still eating it and i'm just and i know i'm not alone this is a kingdom move of god and he is faithful and so i was um going through a situation a personal situation in my life and see you have to understand that there's a constant war between light and darkness and when you have the light of god when you have a living god living on the inside of you you have to understand that it's going to irritate those who are in darkness they're not going to be able to be comfortable around you they're not going to be able to be in peace around you and it's not no doing of your own you can pour out as much love you can pour out as much kindness as you want to because god will give you the grace he will anoint you to do so but when you have darkness hidden in your heart against somebody who has none hidden in their heart for you you're not gonna be comfortable around that person you're not going to be comfortable around that person. And I want to encourage a warrior who has a sensitive heart. See, I know what it's like to have a sensitive heart. I know what it's like to love anyway. And so sometimes when you're on this journey with the Father and things, you're like, whoa, that kind of hurt, Lord. Like, what's going on? He will start to show you in his word through revelation that this is just a part of the process. This is just the fight, the battle I'm preparing you for. Because when when you answer the call when you own the race you're running and you're the light and so it's a fight against the light and the dark let's just be real in Jesus name and so the father brought me back this morning to um, the story of Mordecai now I'm going to later attach the video that I did because that was one of the TIPs we did. I don't know if it was October or December, somewhere around there, but it was done to Proverbs 22 verse four. And that says through fear and humility of the Lord is honor, riches and life. Now don't, but that's what it is the gist of it. I could be paraphrased. I might've missed the word here too, but that's what it means. It says through the fear, through honor, through the fear and honor of the Lord, wait, through humility and the fear of the Lord is honor, riches, and life. Glory to God. Grab the grace, right? And so this word was titled, Secured, It's Time to Rule and Reign. And the Holy Spirit led me to really look into the character of Mordecai. And so you have to know that as you're in this new land, as you're running the play that the father gave you those hammonds sent out against you those hammonds who hate you just because of your reverence for the father just because of the humility of your heart they're still they're gonna come out they're not gonna be able to hide what they're feeling but their plots will fail because god has you and the father led me to esther chapter 5 verse 9 and it says, so Haman went out that day joyful and with a glad heart. But when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate and that he did not stand or tremble before him, he was filled with indignation against Mordecai. Now Haman, in the eyes of the world, the land, he was blessed. 
He was not only appointed by the king. He not only had a wife and riches and wealth. He was valued in the eyes of the land. But in the eyes of the kingdom of God, he was he was spiritually poor because he allowed the humility and the fear of God that Mordecai had in him to cause him to not even be able to enjoy the things that was in his hand. See, the way you run your race, the way you move through every difficult situation, every dart that's thrown at you, every storm that you have to go through and grow through, when you come out of that on the other side, those hammers is gonna be angry. They're gonna be upset. That's why it's so important to run your own race. That's why it's so important to focus on your own lane because you cannot look at someone on the outside of them and what they have inside of their hand and count that as spiritual wealth you can't even count that as well and so here it was Hammond had put out this order to have all the Jews demolished because Mordecai was not going to bend the knee to him he was not Mordecai's God glory to God and so after this went out yes Mordecai was broken he was hurt he had the sackcloth he had the ashes he went into fasting for three days. He called on Esther. But after those three days of fasting, you don't hear about Mordecai anymore um, moping around in the sackcloth, in the ashes. He was outside of the king's gate for three days. But after those three days, after he fasted, after he let go and let God, he went back into the king's gate. See, it says it right here. When Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate, and he did not stand or tremble before him. See, your enemies are frustrated because they have put out an order for your life. And so when they seen you next after the order was put out on your life and you were still in joy, you were still in peace, you were still showing love, you were still showing kindness, you were still showing gentleness, it angered them because they thought that the order put out on your life was going to cause you to step outside of the blessing to get off of the blessing bus to get out of the race but glory to God they didn't know that you were sitting in the king's palace they don't know your king they don't know your king so when you start to hear and get this backlash and they're like wait a minute that didn't work that used to work that worked before and it's like no it didn't work brushing it off of me I don't have time I'm too blessed to be stressed and I'm watched over by the best so I don't worry about the rest I don't worry about the mess listen don't worry don't concern yourself with your hammocks continue to be like Mordecai and be in trust in the Lord have fear of God of reverence for God be humble see Mordecai wasn't too proud to go to Esther and say hey you was called what if you were sent here for a time such as this he wasn't too prideful to reach out and ask for help so through that he received his his time to rule and reign through that he received the honor the riches and the life and it was the plot that Hammond sent out against Mordecai that Hammond failed so we don't fight these battles we are, it's too hard running it's we're running these races this is a marathon right so it's too hard to keep focus on our own lane I don't got time to pause and fight with you I don't have time to stop and, and, and inquire about you you're not my coach you're not my God I gave the situation to him, I trust him, and I'm gonna rest in him. So be encouraged, warriors, do not let them hammers get you up off your square. Stay on the blessing bus. And just another thing, thank you, Holy Spirit. This blessing bus is secure. It's a secure place for you. This blessing bus has you encapsulated in the blessing of God. This blessing bus is driven by Jesus himself, glory to God.
And so when people try to sneak on your bus because they see that blessing, soon as the Lord opens up that door, they won't even get up them steps. They won't even get into this bus because you can't sneak on this bus. You are safe on this bus. Just don't get off the bus too soon, glory to God. Don't get off the bus too soon. The very people that are coming for you, and you may not even understand, like, why are they coming for me? They have the wealth, they have the titles, they have this, they have that. They're coming for you because they don't have the spiritual wealth. See, money can be here today, gone tomorrow, but what's in the spirit? No man can take, no man can break, no man can shake. Glory to God. And that's what they see in you. They see the light in you, just like you can see the darkness in them. But know this, don't continue to shine. Don't dim your light. Continue to shine. Continue to shine and pray for their peace. Pray that they will have a changed mind. Pray that they will focus on their own race. Glory to God. So I just had to do this word for somebody because God was showing me like there was a time when the attacks that came against me, like the attack that came against me today would have knocked me off my square. It would have had me down and out for three days, probably like, Lord, give me a strategy. But he's saying to you, he's already giving it to you. Stay encapsulated in the blessing. No, the battle is not yours. He's handed over the victory to you. All you have to do is focus on the one. Focus on your coach. Focus on your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So don't let it get to your heart. And don't be surprised when you see the abundance of the, the ugliness of the darkness come out of people's hearts who you have held near and dear to yours. You love them anyway. Pray for them anyway. But you can't help it. Yo, you on the bus with Jesus Christ himself. And ain't nobody getting on this bus if their heart ain't right. Ain't no wolves on this bus. You can rest assured on this bus. In Jesus' name, love you words. Talk to you soon.